Okay, let's get started here. We're going to disassemble the, the seed meter. Uh, we'll take off the uh, vacuum cover. This cover, it actually has two of the most common wear items in the cover. One of them is this seal, which is basically just pushed into the, into the housing. Uh, the other is the scraper or a kicker in, on certain Milo plates, but uh, these are easy, easily replaceable. You just undo the clip and it'll pull out of it. On the older ones, there's a couple of screws here that you have to loosen off to get this out to replace it. But those are the two areas in the, in the cover. Next, we'll come in. We're going to remove the seed disc. The seed disc actually has two wear areas on it. One is on this side, these little tabs that actually uh, place the uh, seeds into the, to the cells of the plate. And then also on the back side, this runs against the seal right here where the, uh, the, uh, <coughs> the seal is actually your vacuum is in this area. So we want to be sure that this is smooth right here. I have a, uh, a disc right here. It shows quite a bit of wear on the back side of it where it runs against the seal. This needs to be replaced just because of this worn area right here that won't let the seal actually set flat against the disc. The other side of the disc, this is actually not in that bad a shape. This would probably be okay as far as, uh, as far as these tabs that place the seeds, but it probably needs to be replaced. The seal that we were talking about that runs against it, this is just an example. This one is really worn out. As you can see, the lip's completely gone. This definitely needs to be replaced or you're going to lose a lot of vacuum in this particular meter. Moving on to the actual housing, there are two uh, wear items in this housing. One is this seal that just sits around the inside of the seed disc. The other one is the brush right here. The seal that's around the seed disc, as long as these are pliable and it's not cracked, there's no reason to replace it. It's fine. All it's doing is just sitting against the, the back side of the seed disc. This brush actually separates the seed chamber and the drop chamber in the meter. So we want to make sure that we don't have any bristles missing or folded over in this lower area right here so that it just let the seed run into the, uh, into the drop chamber. And last, uh, one adjustment I want to mention here. You remove this R clip, and then at that point you can actually adjust this in to the right or out to the left to set the uh, spacing between the seed disc and this housing. You want to adjust that to where the seed disc is just touching this housing. Where you turn it, you can actually feel it just drag against the housing. A couple of things I want to mention. The multi-purpose spray lubricant uh, comes in real handy. Uh, if you're having trouble getting this seal, the new seal back into the housing, just spray the seal down with it a little bit. Put the seal into the housing and then wipe it back off. The, uh, the graphite... The graphite is actually used on the back side of the seed disc to cut down on this wire right here. Just spray it on, let it set till it dries, and uh, it'll just cut down on the wire on the, on the seal and on the seed disc. Thank you for watching and hopefully it helps some.